welcome to our channel today i try to demonstrate how to create shopping chart application using sb.net core mbc framework so before we start uh, let me uh, heads up a short overview so in this video i will uh, try to demonstrate the shopping chart enter application we have used ms sql server for database sp.net mbc application with c sharp for pull data from database and finally we'll display in the browser using jquery all the data communication so let's start let me open my vs code so here is my vs code uh, here is my project so let me build and run the project .net build So build success uh, we have just execute dotnet run project so already project run so as we can see 5001 port is running and 5000 so let me open the browser uh, i already <coughs> added microsoft edge browser in my mac Here is our application so let me just log in so in the starting of video i just uh, show you the item chart overview then later we'll in the code base show you one by step by step how to create this so already three item added as we can see we can delete the item let me clear clear chart yes we can easily clear chart with the pro uh, notification here is the item list item list also also dynamic you can add item as you what you want also you can search let me search ssd you can see the ssd drive multiplug let me add one multiplug orange this is the mixed items just for testing data you can add whatever you want also you can add coca-cola and the olive oil so total four item we have already added we can see the item serial number item description quantity unit price and fat as well this field are dynamic from the other section you can customize all the fields total and the grand totals if we going to check out it will automatically go into the invoice space by generating the invoice template so before uh, check out let me show you uh, another feature uh, of this item chart here is a site invoice item chart so in this space we can see uh, by dividing two section left section we can see the adding item details uh, for vis more visualization and the right section we can add the items we can uh, see the item and uh, add the item so here is the basic nation also uh, in this space we can uh, filter by item category let me show you fruits no fruits yes number page number one fruits item available we can add orange one item added also if we try to add another item coffee mug so coffee mug we did not add previously that's why uh, it added as a new item so let me go, go to the checkout section yes where is the uh, add payment details uh, customer you can select the customer sure also you can add more items if you want says the payment option if i click the uh, full paid checkbox uh, total uh, payment will be added automatically you can add customer notes and other things if i click the save button invoice will create automatically so as we can we can see here is the invoice template 
so this is the overview uh, of how to create shopping chart in sp.net mbc application so now i will demonstrate i will demonstrate how to uh, how i create all the things in the code base so here is my project let me just shut down the application for now if required later we'll run the project again so uh, this is our mbc project so in this mbc project we have uh, create a controller for pool data so uh, let me open item chat controller so here is the controller uh, get item table for uh, for item data displaying with, uh, with bootstrapping uh, box design I will uh, show where I maintain the box design with jQuery code uh, so here is the item chart side invoice already we have uh, shown the two different pages this is the second pages uh, displaying data with uh, search option here is I can uh, here I write some search uh, logic get all chart card item and here is the create draft invoice already uh, we have seen once we uh, check out that is automatically created invoice for draft so this is the data pooling from the back uh, back in database uh, all the function already i have created so let me go to the view mm, view section here's the item chart here's the index so this is the view section uh, item table list i have used uh, jquery data tables for uh, displaying designation searching categorize all the things uh, using using jquery data tables so here is our item chart crude operation add displaying other things all jquery could here payment could here also the common stuff here and the data table displaying code over here so view item charts so this is the just for viewing item we have used a model with custom base here is the load big model options and here is the jquery code for data table search uh, box customization and get all chart card items automatically <coughs> load it once the first uh, you open the page so now I can I will show you the jQuery code how, how I handle all the stuff there so here is the item chart item chat code here is the I to card items uh, by item function item card details once I once you click the item checkout function and here is the dynamically create the row so once you click the add item there is a, there will be a new table row will create dynamically so this is the basic very basic code how to create add the new uh, table row and remove table row once you remove the table row let me show you build run build success so also run success so let me show you again sorry item chair by default five row will show you can add more row as we have don't have as 
as we don't have enough test data that's why just seven entities here better we can check five so if uh, i added one item there is a table just one to add it if we better to go to the side invoice and add multiple rows so uh, dynamically added table row here if i click remove then dynamically remove the table rows so as i explaining uh, adding uh, html table row removing table row with data and here is this grand total just for item summation clear chart function and clear ch chart with alert where is the grand total functions common calculation so all the things uh, uh, I have written here how the item chart uh, base application item chart base behavior so another thing is uh, uh, jQuery data table I already uh, explained uh, I, I have used jQuery data table for displaying data so here is the displaying data with uh, uh, like box uh, board step box the items details item names image item price and then there is a part on if I click the item details we can see the item details with quantity in the stock also image and who create these items and the modify these items so all the things we can see so for displaying the item with proper design we have used jquery data tables uh, so let me show you oh, jquery data tables now here is the item chart data tables so document dot ready function uh, here is item table names if we go to the indexed yes our table name is item list table item list so azx here is the azx call let me show this function in the controller so here is the post request uh, you will get the all the data through this uh, post request with uh, uh, filtering option as well so i have uh, get data from database uh, using get all item chart for custom data tables if i go to the definition go to the implementation yes we can see and the link queries and getting the data with the proper business logic here uh, handling the board step boxes and handling the uh, proper request proper request so here is the column so for column we have uh, passed the board step design here like box uh, like id quantity barcode name all the things here same things here is the uh, orderable false column and here is the designation base size so in summary uh, for data we pull data from ms sql through the entity framework uh, core and link queries and once we get the data uh, we have uh, display in the base and execute the user all command through the jquery uh, function so we'll try to uh, simplify uh, this uh, application like item chat modules with two different sections so that user experience will be better so in this section uh, first page uh, user can add the item but cannot see the details so as you see we, we just added eight items but cannot once we click the item chart then it uh, it it's a pop-up and we can see the details uh, but if you want to uh, get board experience with same times so here is the another page item chart so left side showing the item chart details and right side showing the item if you can 
also we can see the items uh, details with barcode so all the things here also you can search and also uh, you can create the invoice dynamically so let me just show you again for creating invoice once i click the checkout so here is the invoice option uh, you can select the customer dynamically already added the customer also you can add the new customer here is the payment option section you can uh, pay uh, breakdown wise let's say first payment hundred dollars second payment two hundred dollars so also we can see all the details like paid amounts of totals pet so in the database all the things we store with the proper uh, data design so in the in our another uh, tutorial we will explain how we design this all the things so hopefully uh, uh, hopefully you enjoyed our video and understand how to create the item chart uh, full application database controller front end for and displaying uh, all the data in the web browser with jquery code so once i save uh, invoice have been created in the invoice section uh, it is also more dynamic you can uh, send this uh, invoice as pdf email attachment also you can print thermal also general paint here is a printing option we can see uh, all the things uh, all the things item details for invoice so today's our uh, section today's uh, in this video we'll try to cover how to create uh, professional item chart application uh, with invoicing modules so hopefully everyone enjoying our video uh, with uh, explanation if you want to get uh, this entire project uh, with the proper documentation so you can purchase from code canon uh, in this video the description i will share the details uh, so that you can get entire application code base also the documentation so we have used uh, uh, entity framework code first so you don't have to headache about the db script and how to generate it once you run the project automatically all the tables will be generated uh, so we are almost done so hopefully uh, hopefully everyone understand my uh, tutorial so thanks for watching please subscribe and likes